What's up, Whiskey World? We're back together again, and we are about to hit some magical, some wonderful JP Weiser's Seven Rebels. Anybody else want to talk? Yeah, the, uh, <laughs> no, we don't. We really don't, Dave. Uh, who Can are you are bring we? in an intro like this and we're done? <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> so, so I'm Daryl. Dave did it all. And uh, we'll just jump right into Ian. All right, and I'm Ian, and we are Northern Proof, uh, as Dave forgot to mention uh, on there. That said, we got some wonderful samples from a buddy of mine in BC, uh, Andrew West. Thank you for this. And we're trying some Seven Rebels, a JP Weiser special, special release. So cheers, Andrew. Thank you for this. And we're going to get into that now. Cheers, cheers, Andrew. Thank you so much. We always say share good whiskey and let the proof do the talking. So when friends are sharing whiskey from another province, God bless you. You're an amazing human being. We need to send them something back, probably. All right. What should we send them? Absolutely. Mm. Oh. What should we send somebody? What if you were to send somebody something special. He's got some good stuff, too. I did send him some rum that LCBO got. So maybe this was that. Maybe, uh, like a maybe some red letter. How about, could, uh, how how about that one? Oh, no, that's a good, that's a good one. <laughs> I, I wonder if he got, uh, I wonder if he got the cast strength, uh, Alberta premium when it came out. He, you think he, he did. Got it? I think he has both those if I'm not wrong. Okay. Okay. Fine. Yeah. Whatever. We, I'll, I'll find you can I'll send post, him some Paul coffee. I'll put some, yeah, I'll put some, <laughs> <laughs> it's like slap in the face. After Thanks this. for the limited release. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for the limited release here's, here's Paul coffee, coffee. <laughs> uh, <laughs> which is good by the way but yeah. okay so this jp weiser's seven rebels you guys have been telling me it's a special release i don't know much about weiser's the seven rebels world but andrew sent it to us and it's a rare bottle there weren't many made what's happening with it who knows no, so know was this was only bottle. released to the bc liquor stores that's what it was yeah so not it, a it's rare, rare for us in ontario it i don't know how many were released like ian said um but it was made just for the bc liquor stores i think they actually hired jp weisers to make this blend for them oh crazy just just look at the legs oh you want to see some legs i, 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 I think you're in for a treat on this one. oh some legs. oh the legs are out don't there show the calves. Legs. The ladies want the calves. Is this three whiskey, Dave? <laughs> yeah, 100%. <laughs> okay. This is what you get for suggesting to do another pour. <laughs> well, you're welcome, everyone. <laughs> They're so yes. white, too. Those legs are so shiny. But yes, the legs the legs are nice. Nice, beautiful amber. That, the cling on the glass is impressive. This is very impressive. It's got a... It's got a bit of a rye smell to it. Are you getting any rye? Mm, I'm getting oak. I have no oak here. Really? I'm getting like a barrel, like an oaky barrel note to it. I'm not sure if it's rye. It might be barrel that you're getting on that. Interesting. Yeah. So is this, this is a blend, I'm assuming, from JP? This is a, this is a blend of... I believe seven casks, but I could be wrong. Seven the name comes from the so. seven whiskey bar barons, um, the Canadian whiskey barons that I Weird. think kept whiskey flowing into whiskey the U.S. Barons. during Prohibition. The whiskey barons. Uh, I want to become a whiskey baron. How I do you name get them all, the title baron? Because I need to be Dave Baron. Oh, yeah, I get I a lot. I, I get a lot of rye right. on it. You get rye too. Do you get rye? I, I get rye on it. Yep. Like yeah. that. I'm like picking up like like lot forty smell off of well, it. Well, so lot. Let's talk about Wiser's a little bit. Lot forty is the base or, or the base rye for a lot of their blends. So oh. if there is rye in this, it's going to be lot forty, and he may have used that to tie it all together. I get a lot of corn on this. I get that sweet maple Canadian corn whiskey note in there. Yeah, but it's but it's got this like casing around it, so it's this sweet corn whiskey that's cased with oak, and then this rye and, and a lot of like, it's it's really lovely. Damn it, Ian, you're so good at painting pictures. That is a beautiful picture you just painted of this rye. 
I love just nosing it as you talk through that because I'm getting it. I'm feeling it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, there's, there's probably rye in it, but I, I think I get a lot of that corn whiskey with some barrel note to it personally. Um, but mm. the nose is, is phenomenal. Have you tasted it yet? I did. Put it That's... in your mouth. Mm. <laughs> Jump clap. <laughs> mm-hmm. Wow. Mm. The, the like, it's very viscous. It's got this like. That's why the legs are so good. It's got this oily mouthfeel. Yeah. Very. Uh, it's very light, like fruity, kind of explode, like a fruit explosion. <laughs> like literal explosion in your mouth. It's happening right yeah. now. Hmm. I you like enjoy some, this. Some bubble I'm, gum. I'm... Bubble yeah, gum. Bubble gum, like sweet bubble gum. What? Yeah. <laughs> and. I'm gonna chew on it. I just get a, I get a ton of spice on it. No way, sweet. Uh, There's some cinnamon there. Like, like cinnamon. I don't get a lot of sweet out of this one for me. So cinnamon red hots in the back of your throat, but like Mm -hmm, that first mm -hmm. like palate is like a bubble gum almost. A bubble gum. Mm. I'm getting the damn it. I could. I don't know if you're just messing with me because I know Ian likes to just. I know Ian likes to play games with us sometimes where he's like, I'm going to say something and see if they get it. And now I'm like playing with them. No, like, am, I, am I getting bubble gum right now? Like maybe like, like double bubble right After. on your tongue. And then it goes into this like right cinnamon red hot. Yeah. No, I'm getting like that, you know, the pink gum that like you unwrap and it's got the little comic. In the the side. double bubble. Is it a double bubble? Yeah. A double it, bubble? <laughs> double bubble in the big tub. <laughs> Yeah, yes. with the comic, yeah. You get the comic, yes. Yeah. Okay, no. <laughs> yeah, that one, Dave. Yeah. I've literally <laughs> never had a bubble gum as a whiskey note before. This is a new first for me. Yeah, I'm it's like sitting on the front of my tongue. Like I'm getting that cinnamon on the back, the spice, but the front of my tongue is this like bubble gum. I can legit lovely. I don't know if you're playing mind games. I'm with not. Me, I'm but dead serious. I'm dead serious. <laughs> Next on mind games with Ian, who's gonna like preface this episode. Watch, guys. I'm gonna say bubble gum and get Dave, but it's literally there now. Here, Dave. I'm it's getting. I'm getting. You know those jalapeno garlic stuffed olives. Okay. <laughs> it's there. <laughs> it's, how did you do that? <laughs> You're magician. Andrew, thank you. This is a fantastic whiskey. Um, I'm appreciating it even more that we're able to share it together. That we're sharing this as friends. That Ian's friend from BC was able to share this with us. This is incredible. Thank you. That's I'm a really, great whiskey. I'm really blown away. I I struggle with Canadian whiskey in general because of how sweet it is. Mm, yeah. And there's a lot of sweetness on this, but it also brings that punch and the spice and like... Uh, mm-hmm. wow really I think, good i think it's the rye for me that's coming through yeah i'm still like it's i would have labeled this a rye if i was doing it blind like it comes through that strong for me on the nose and then even the even on the palate hmm. but i it's might a have to use blend. the googles it is made with a base of double distilled corn whiskey with a column distilled rye column distilled wheat pot stilled rye malt and pot still pot distilled barley malt. Okay. So it's got okay. everything. It's a four it's everything. four grain. Uh, the blend used eight whiskeys aged in a, a number of barrels: refill cast, ex Bayside, ex Bourbon, new white oak, and refill cast with oak inserts. So that they added oak inserts in it, like uh, Maker's yeah. Mark would do. Uh, this this is really good whiskey. I'm gonna say that a lot this episode. It is. Does it yeah. mean more to you yeah, coming it, from one of your friends as well? Uh, I'm sure that has a, I think every whiskey um, has a place, like mm. uh, there's a value placed on how you acquired it, um, what what you're doing with it. I haven't seen you guys for a little while. That I'm sure is a factor. Um, Andrew sending this across the country is another factor. Yeah. Uh, so it's it's a special whiskey. Plus, Dr. Don's put a lot of effort into this as a, as a rare release for w- Wisers themselves. So uh, just the whole thing kind of packages it nicely. And then the nose is, it just hits me. It's a bold whiskey. There's a lot going on. It's not proof tie, but it's still got that complexity. It reminds me a little bit of the old world that we had, the whistle, uh, whistle pig old world, where mm-hmm. it's a right. low proof, but packs yep. that flavor punch. 
Um, and it's sweet in the good way. I don't yeah. like the the JP Weiser's 15s too sweet, it's too mapley. Whereas yeah. this has this sweetness, but it still packs this like uh, it, it's sweet in a nice package. No, that's well said. And I think there's a bigger message that comes along with this too. Um, I mean, we've gone through a pandemic and a crazy year. And especially for us, I know the three of us have gone through some really busy stretches with family and work recently. Yeah. And the fact that this came from a friend, I think it's a good message to be able to send anyone who's listening right now to reach out to a friend, whether it's a text message, whether it's a call, whether it's sending them a sample of whiskey, if it's somebody you haven't talked to in a long time, just a simple message, a simple hello, I miss you, how are you doing can go such a long way. Mm -hmm. So we talk about sharing good whiskey and let the proof do the talking, but reach out to somebody, let them know you love them and share good whiskey. Beyond sharing the whiskey, uh, Andrew really wants to have a whiskey with Dave one day. So maybe we'll have to have him on the show. Maybe we'll have to go <laughs> visit him in Vancouver or wherever that might be so we need to have uh, uh I'm, I'm not sure if it's just dave or the northern proof guys i'm hoping it's the okay. northern no, it's, proof guys it's but it's probably just me and probably just yeah, dave I'm pretty you know, amazing just dave, you know, charming <laughs> personality he's on tv once in a while <laughs> every now and then yeah. boyish good looks <laughs> kind yeah. of like a deal celebrity here <laughs> <laughs> well He's a cheap drunk at the bar. Yeah. <laughs> Big time. Very cheap. Very cheap. He, he really wants to get to, to Whiskey Dave. But um. So we've got the JP Weiser's Seven Rebels. We've reviewed it. Uh, I'm in love with this bottle. I wish it wasn't a, a BC only release. So thank you, Andrew, for letting me have a little taste of this and, and sharing that whiskey. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, it's one of my favorite releases from JP Weiser's. I've actually really nursed the bottle that I happened across um, on the JP Weiser's tour site uh, by sheer luck, I guess, uh, because I, I want it to last. I don't want it to disappear because it, it is so absolutely delicious and mouthwatering. Yeah, I would have to agree. This is a brilliant whiskey. It makes me want to go buy some bubble gum and chew bubble gum and drink whiskey together, which is probably a terrible idea. So I'm not going to do it. But the next time I chew some double bubble gum, I'm going to think of Andrew. I'm going to think of seven rebels because I'm a rebel. No, I'm not. I'm farthest from a rebel. But Andrew, great whiskey. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. All right, everybody. And it's that time again, share good whiskey like Andrew did to us and let the proof do the talking. Cheers, Cheers boys. Cheers, everyone. <laughs> this is me Googling something special for Andrew. <laughs> getting, getting creepy. <laughs> <laughs>